Local news about local people. This is Indiana. Good morning, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. It's not even summer yet, but a case of West Nile virus has already been reported in Ohio, and that has health departments across East Central Indiana planning to spray earlier here for this year's round of mosquitoes. Targets include damp areas of waterways that could be breeding grounds for insects. We look for containers that have water. It could be a cup in the backyard, it could be gutters, um, um, spilled septic systems. Spraying should start by the end of the month. Indiana State Police have used unmarked cars for years as a tool to catch speeders, but as Newslink Indiana's Amanda Lentz tells us, the look of that tool will soon change. Indiana State Trooper Kent Haven spends most of his days on the road clocking speeding vehicles. His unmarked car is just another tool in the battle against drivers with a lead foot. But they've always been unmarked cars on the state police and other departments have used them. Has the speeds gone down? No. Havens drives a Ford Crown Victoria. State police no longer use Camaros. Chevy stopped making the Camaro. So all those guys who are in Camaros are going to, like this, unmarked Crown Victorias. Chevy stopped making the sports car in 2002. I guess that's the reason why it's going by the wayside. They stopped building that particular brand of car. Haven says the unmarked car has advantages. Yeah. It's been a very uh, useful tool. I mean, it's been a great tool out there. I mean, uh, They've taken a lot of enforcement action over the years with those cars. According to Havens, about one in a hundred people get upset when they get a ticket. And getting a ticket versus a warning all comes down to one thing, officer safety. So it's pretty dangerous. So if you could put in all those factors, you're not going to go and try to chase down somebody for a lousy warning. And you know, what you're chasing down out there is for speed and making impact and slowing people down out there. In Muncie, Amanda Lentz, News Link, Indiana. Trooper Haven says the drivers who typically pulls over are between 16 and 25 years old. Now here's Kerry Hazley, the look at today's forecast. Kerry. Thanks, Chris. We start things off with a look at the high temperatures today in the lower 60s as a cold front moved through the area overnight last night. 63 will be the high here in Muncie, 63 in Marion, and in Newcastle, the high temperature 64 degrees. If we take a look at this graphic put out by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, we are in a severe weather risk. In fact, from Thursday into the day on Friday, with this, we could see rain and possibly some strong thunderstorms. Thunderstorms continue throughout the day today and overnight low temperature tonight, 50 degrees. Chris. Thanks, Carrie. That is News Link Indiana. Join us at 627 tonight for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.